I'm going to kill you. You can't kill her. In today's video, we will discuss the 10 upcoming scariest horror movies of 2024. Before we get started, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. At number 10 we have, Abigail is about a group of kidnappers who capture Abigail, the daughter of a powerful underworld figure, for a $50 million ransom. However, they get more than what they bargained for when Abigail reveals her true nature as a vampire child, hunting them down one by one one. Oh, no. What the fuck is that thing? We can have a fucking vampire. <laughs> This film is a reimagining of the 1936 Universal Classic Monsters film Dracula's Daughter and is scheduled to be released by Universal Pictures on April 19. Bank hit. I'm going to kill you. You can't kill her. At number 9 we have, Bank hit is released in January, is about Iris who inherits a rundown, centuries-old pub following her estranged father's demise. Little does she know that within the pub's basement resides Baghead, a shape-shifting creature. Baghead has a unique ability. It allows desperate loved ones to speak to the dead for a mere two minutes, but not without consequence. When Iris becomes tempted to exploit this power, she discovers that breaking the two-minute rule can lead to terrifying repercussions. Iris, we shouldn't be here. Alongside her best friend Katie, Iris must battle to keep control of Baghead and find a way to destroy it before it destroys them. Terrifier 3 At number 8 we have Terrifier 3 is about the return of Art, the clown, who is set to unleash chaos on the unsuspecting residents of Miles County as they peacefully drift off to sleep on Christmas Eve. The film reintroduces Victoria Highs, a survivor from Terrifier 2, who attempts to protect her family from clown. The film is a sequel to Terrifier 2 and is the fourth feature-length film to include the character Art the Clown and is scheduled to be released on October 25. The First Omen At number 7 we have the First Omen is about a young American woman who is sent to Rome to begin a life of service to the Church 12. However, she encounters a darkness that causes her to question her faith and uncovers a terrifying conspiracy that hopes to bring about the birth of evil incarnate. This film is a prequel to the 1976 classic horror film The Omen and is scheduled to be released on April 5. A Quiet Place, Day 1 please, please. At number 6 we have A Quiet Place, Day 1. It serves as a spin-off prequel and is the third installment in the A Quiet Place film series. The story unfolds in New York City, which has been invaded by alien creatures that hunt by sound. The film follows Sam, portrayed by Lupita Nyong'o, as she fights to survive the initial moments of the invasion. Unlike the first two films, this installment focuses on escape rather than mere survival. Joseph Quinn plays the character Eric, and Alex Wolf also stars. Jimin Hoon Soo reprises his role as a man on the island from A Quiet Place Part 2. Tarot. At number 5 we have Tarot 
is about a group of friends who recklessly violate the sacred rule of tarot readings by using someone else's deck. Unknowingly, they unleash an unspeakable evil trapped within the cursed cards. One by one, they come face to face with their fates and end up in a race against death to escape the future foretold in their readings. Never to deal with a death. It is based on a 1992 novel horoscope by Nicholas Adamsterot is scheduled to be theatrically released on May 10. Imaginary. You were always playing with your imaginary friend. When the connection was severed, the entity becomes enraged. At number four, we have Imaginary. When Jessica moves back into her childhood home with her family, her youngest stepdaughter Alice develops an eerie attachment to a stuffed bear named Chauncey she finds in the basement. Initially, their games with Chauncey seem playful, but they soon take a sinister turn. As Alice's behavior becomes increasingly concerning, Jessica realizes that Chauncey is much more than the innocent stuffed bear she believed him to be all those years. Imaginary is scheduled to be released on March 8. Mickey's Mousetrap At number 3 we have Mickey's Mousetrap. On Alex's 21st birthday, she finds herself stuck at an amusement arcade during a late shift. Her friends decide to surprise her, but little do they know that a masked killer, dressed as Mickey Mouse, has other plans. The killer sets up a deadly game, and Alex and her friends must fight to survive within the confines of the arcade. Put the phone down! Put the phone down, please! As the night unfolds, they grapple with terror, suspense, and the realization that their beloved childhood icon has turned into a bloodthirsty menace. The movie is set to be theatrically released in March. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2 At number 2 we have Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2. Released in February 14, deep within the 100-acre wood, a destructive rage grows as Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, Owl, and Tigger find their home and lives endangered after Christopher Robin revealed their existence. Not wanting to live in the shadows any longer, the group decides to take the fight to the town of Ashdown, home of Christopher Robin, leaving a bloody trail of death and mayhem in their wake. Winnie and his savage friends will show everyone that they are deadlier, stronger, and smarter than anyone could ever imagine, and get their revenge on Christopher Robin, once and for all. Long Legs Are you still saying your prayers? At number one, we have Long Legs, follows Lee Harker, a talented new FBI agent who is assigned to an unsolved case of a serial killer. As the investigation deepens, occult evidence comes to light, revealing a personal link between Harker and the ruthless killer. The stakes escalate as Harker races against time to prevent another family murder, starring Micah Monroe as Lee Harker and Nicolas Cage as the serial killer. This series thriller promises twists, suspense, and occult secrets and is scheduled for release on July 12. That's it guys. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.